A county official speaks out about Otha Scott's recent drug charge. We told you last week that Scott is facing federal charges for his alleged involvement in a Terre Haute meth ring. Now, one of Scott's former supporters speaks to News 10 about his disappointment over decisions that could land Scott back in prison. News 10's Jessica Hayes has more. Otha Scott was a longtime children's coach in Terre Haute. He's also a convicted felon serving six years after he was caught dealing crack cocaine in 2002. Last year, after his release from prison, many supported his attempt to return to coaching children's sports. But today, one of those folks has no support for a man once again charged in a Terre Haute drug bust. As a reminder, all photos and video of Otha Scott are file footage. He's what we want to happen. People that have had a drug problem, been involved in the drug culture, to come out of that successfully and to be back as contributors of the community. That's Vigo County Prosecutor Terry Modisett speaking to News 10 last year about Otha Scott. Scott previously coached Modisett's kids, so last year when he applied for a coaching position in Terre Haute, Modisett was in favor, writing a letter and speaking out on his behalf. My position on the thing was that, I mean, he coached my sons, uh, he had done his time, he'd done his probation and everything, and so at that point, you know, someone deserves a second chance. But after another drug charge against Otha Scott came last week, Modisa said Scott must be held accountable if he's found guilty. We watch people throw their lives away all the time, unfortunately, just over crazy stuff. I'm a firm believer someone deserves the benefit of the doubt, but then obviously if they mess up, then they get what they get. Folks have been outspoken on our Facebook page as well, most saying Otha Scott was a great coach. But others say coaching kids and dealing drugs do not mix under any circumstance. Back to you. Otha Scott is due back in federal court next week.